Greetings, YouTubers, and welcome to my 70th TTM video, number 70. TTM stands for Through the Mail. We send out autograph requests to uh, athletes, actors, politicians, whatever is your uh, genre that you like. You send them out and hopefully get a request, a response back. Uh, sometimes they're free, and sometimes you have to have a little donation as well. Uh, today I will share three TTMs that I got. A couple of pickups, purchases I made, a package from a friend, four shout-outs, as I like to do four shout-outs each video, and the winner of the 2021 uh, hockey box, the upper deck there. So, getting down to the end of that, the giveaways. Hope everybody's been doing well and staying safe and having a good spring. Allergies have been killing me. Um... Been a while since I've done a video, I should say. Get my train of thought there. My wife would say it's a short train. And uh, I apologize. I've sent out a ton of requests. I just haven't gotten a lot back for whatever reason. The train is going slow. But I've been watching people's videos and really enjoying them and trying to respond as many as I can. And uh, hopefully I'll have more videos coming as opposed to uh, having none. But I hope you all doing well, all my friends, and I consider everybody who I subscribe to or subscribe to me a friend. You're all friends. Even if you don't subscribe to me, I still consider you a friend. So let's get to a couple of shout-outs. Four channels, which I really like. First one is a new one that I've subscribed to. He's up in Canada, I believe, and that is Windsor Sports Cards. Got a great channel. Doesn't have a lot of subscribers, so give him a look-see. Does pack openings, but real fun. And... uh I enjoy his channel. I've watched a bunch of his videos recently. Second one is a veteran. That's Eric at the Card Closet. Eric has a great collection and does a fine job of showing them. So give him a look-see as well. Number three is Chris at Stories in Cardboard. And he has a great collection also. And he tells you about the players, about the cards, because a lot of history fantastic channel love watching his as well all three of these guys and we got a lady yes the lady is lisa zankevich aka lisa z she's got a fine channel as well opens cards shows you her mail days she lives out in oklahoma and is a big tigers fan so give lisa z a sh shout out give them all shout outs look at them yeah check out their channels and you'll have fun they're all great people great channels you can tell him angry old man. You can tell him Ed sent you. You don't have to tell him I sent you. I'm not in this for the glory or anything. I'm just interested in helping people get more subscribers and really have some fun. All right. First thing, I got to give a shout out to my buddy Jake, who sent me a uh, package. He sent me some cards. 26 in the box. From 2020 to 2021, this particular box. And this is, I know, Slapnuts loves this one. This is his favorite player because he shows him in every video. And that is uh, Lexi Lafreniere collection. I didn't even know he had his own collection until he sent me this box of cards, my friend Jake. So thank you, Jake. Uh, I did mention that, you know, my, my good friend Slapnuts, he's a big fan of Alexi, so he may want these, you know. If you want them, you know, let me know, Eric. I'd certainly send them to you because I know how much of a fan you are of Alexi. This helps you on all your videos, I've noticed lately. Now, uh, the first pickup I got, I like to collect boxing cards. I don't have as good a collection or even close to as good a collection as James at Elite Hunter. But, uh, you know, I got some. And uh, I picked up one recently. I'll move this a little closer. And it's a former middleweight champ, Marcel Serdan. This card from the 1950s there. Mr. Serdan. Uh, I was born in Algeria, grew up in Morocco, lived in France. Shout out to Fadiana, the undrafted player. He lives in France. A little bit of history about Mr. Sir Dan. He was born on July 22nd, 1916 in Algeria. His family moved to Morocco. His nickname was the Casablanca Clouder or the Moroccan Bomber. Now at the time, Morocco and Algeria were both under French control. On September 21st, 1948 in Jersey City, New Jersey. Yeah, Jersey City, baby. He won the middleweight championship of the world by defeating Tony Zale. 
And I don't know if Jersey City's ever had a heavy uh, or any kind of title fight since then. His first title defense was in Detroit, Michigan, and he lost on June 16th, 1949 to New York's Jake LaMotta. The Bronx Bull, the Raging Bull, if you ever saw that movie, the fight was in there. In the first round, LaMotta and Serdan got tied up, and LaMotta kind of flung him to the floor, and he landed wrong, and he separated his shoulder. So he was basically fighting with one arm. And Jake LaMotta broke one of his hands, so he was basically fighting with one hand as well. So it was quite a battle. So Dan lasted until the 10th round when he couldn't answer the bell. His shoulder was that bad, and LaMotta won. Now, he had a rematch, and he was going to exercise that clause to fight him. Uh, Sir Dan was a married man. Marcel had children, wife, and everything, but he had a mistress, a girlfriend, whatever you want to say. He was having an affair with famous uh, French singer Edith Piaf, the Sparrow, and it was not hidden. It was well known. He didn't hide it. And she was uh, performing in New York. So before he went into training for his fight with LaMotta, he was going to fly to New York and see her. On October 28, 1949, after his plane left France, it crashed in the Azores Islands, and he was killed. He was 33 years of age. Marcel Sardin fought 114 professional fights. He won 110 of them, lost four, and had 65 knockouts. So we'll never actually know. Could he have won the title back? But I like this card. Nice card. Nice pose there. I like the artwork. Two other pickups I got are yearbooks, and these are first year yearbooks. The first one is from 1969, and that is the Montreal Expos. A little French there. I don't want to insult anybody by trying to speak some French. Well, I, as a kid, I liked the Expos. I mean, I was Mets, Yankees. We got those in Channel 11 and 9 in the area I lived in. But the Expos, yeah, they had great players. Hey, that's where I learned to love Gary Carter when I saw him play the Mets on Channel 9. And the Expos had cool uniforms with the M, with the E, and the B. Montreal Expos baseball. And they were, they were so talented in the late 70s and early 80s. And uh, they never won a World Series, which was kind of sad. They eventually left Montreal and moved to Washington, became the Nationals. But uh, I do hope that Montreal gets another baseball team back and calls them the Expos. I, I used to go to National teams. They have Gary Carter's number up and Andre Dawson's at they never played in Washington, so they'll have to give that stuff up. But, uh, yeah, first yearbook. And another first yearbook is of another Canadian team. That is the Toronto Blue Jays in 1977. I like the old hats they had. Very nice. Colorful unis. And I like both of those, so I had those to my yearbook collection. Now, let's get down to TTMs. This first one took 34 days. Look up closer. It came all the way from... Florida, on Tampa, St. Pete. There was no fee, and that's a former NBA player, Marcus Liberty. He signed this card on the Nuggets, and he also signed another card from the Nuggets. I wrote him when he was in college, and he sent me a little picture back. <clears throat> uh, Marcus Liberty was born on October 27, 1968, in Chicago, the Windy City. I'll give you a little history of Mr. Uh, Liberty. My camera's out of focus. Uh, he went to Chicago's King College Prep High School. He attended the University of Illinois and in 1989 was on the Fighting Illini team that made the Final Four. Uh, that year it was won by the University of Michigan when they beat Seton Hall in the championship game. Great game. Uh, Dick Vitale, during a game, called the team the Flying Illini. His teammates such as Nick Anderson and Kendall Gill, who both went on to play in the NBA, were members of that team. Uh, Marcus Liberty was selected in the 1990 NBA draft in the second round with the 42nd pick by the Denver Nuggets. Now, his NBA career lasted from 1990 to 94, but he did play overseas in countries like Greece, Sweden, Japan. He played in Puerto Rico. So he played till 2002. Played with the Denver Nuggets and the Detroit Pistons in the NBA. He scored uh, 1,942 points, about 7.3 a game, and had 925 rebounds, about 3.5 a game. In his high school career, he was a two-time first-team All-American in 86 and 87, and was Illinois' Mr. Basketball in 1987. So, you know, I remember him from college, and he was nice enough to sign on, sent me a photo back, because back then I didn't send any self-addressed stamped envelopes or anything. So, But that was nice of him, so I took a shot, and he signed it for me, so... I thank Marcus Liberty for that. Not a very well-known player, but 
Hey, he played in the NBA. He scored more points than I did. The second one also came from the great state of Florida in the same area, as a matter of fact, Tampa St. Pete area. This took about 12 days. There was no fee. This gentleman only signed three per, so he didn't sign any more uh, than three per cards. And that is Mr. Ted Power. Got him on there with the Kansas City Royals. Got him on a scorecard, 92 score with the Reds. Getting fixed. And yeah, got him on the old scorecard here from 1988. A couple of action shots. I like the action shots. I don't like the head shots. I like a little action. A little bit about Mr. Power. Ted Henry Powers. First name's Ted. Born on January 31st, 1955 in Guthrie, Oklahoma. He's currently 67. He was a five sports player at Abilene High School in Abilene, Kansas, hometown of Dwight Eisenhower. Attended Kansas State University in the Little Apple, Manhattan, Kansas. In the June 1976 baseball draft, he was selected in the fifth round by the Los Angeles Dodgers. His major league career went from uh, 1981 to 1993, and he played with quite a few teams. The Dodgers, the Reds on two separate occasions, the Royals, the Tigers, the Cardinals, the Pirates, the Indians, and the Mariners. So he was around quite a bit. 1984, he pitched in a league-high 78 games, was 9-7, and seven, gave up 93 hits in 108 and two-thirds innings, and had 11 saves. A year later, in 85, he became the Reds' primary closer, and he saved 27 games. It was during the 1994 spring training uh, season that he was diagnosed with a torn labrum, and that pretty much ended his career after that point. He wouldn't take an assignment to the minors to rehab, so he just quit, just retired. Uh, he became a minor league pitching coach afterwards for the Padres and the Reds organizations. In his career, he had 68 wins, 69 losses, had a 4.00 ERA, 701 Ks, and he had 70 saves. So thank you, Mr. Power, for the returns. Much appreciated. And the final one is an 8x10. So I'll move these out. And I got this picture, and I'm going to try to send it to as many members of the 1972 Dolphins team as I can. The first one I sent it to is Mr. Doug Cruson, number 77, offensive lineman. And he was nice enough to sign right up at the top there. So that was nice of him to leave more room. I explained to him I'm hoping to send this to more members of the Dolphins team. You can see that was after their Super Bowl win at the Coliseum when they beat the uh, Washington Redskins 14-7 to complete their 17-0 season. So hopefully I will get more. But... Uh, it took eight days. There was no fee. It came all the way from Indiana. And Mr. Douglas Gordon Cruson Jr., Doug, was born in Monison, Mon Pennsylvania, excuse me, July 26, 1946. He's currently 75. He attended Indiana University in Bloomington there. In 1967, he was the team captain, played defensive tackle, and played in the 1968 Rose Bowl against the University of Southern California with a guy by the name of O.J. Simpson on USC's team. In the 1968 NFL draft, he was picked in the first round with the 27th pick by the Miami Dolphins. Picked just a few players ahead of him, was a running back, fullback from Syracuse University by the name of Larry Sanka. He went on to go to the Hall of Fame. Uh, Mr. Cruson played with the Dolphins from 1968 to 74 his whole career, played offensive tackle, he played in Super Bowls 6, 7, and 8. And they won 7 and 8, defeating Washington and uh, Minnesota. They lost Super Bowl 6 to Dallas. He was the starting offensive tackle for the undefeated 72 Dolphins. And after his career is over, he's been involved with the NFL Players Association for some 38 years. He played a total of 82 games, started 60 of them, and had one fumble recovery, so... Mr. Cruson, thank you. If you want to send him some cards, he'd probably sign them, but I'm going to try to get these photos signed. Obviously, I can't get them signed by uh, Don Shula there. He's passed away, but I can add some more. Nice space to add some signatures there. So, All right, let's get down to business. want to waste everybody's time or keep you up late. That's the box of star rookies there. I'll move it back. Tonight, helping me out is a former... NBA mascot. He's not a mascot anymore because his team left to go to Oklahoma City. But hopefully they'll get another team back. They should. 
And that's Mr. Squatch of the Seattle Supersonics. So, get Squatch there. I'll watch over, make sure everything's up and up. I've got my box, my trusty box, the same thing I use every video. And who's in it? Not a lot. We got JK JK Johnny. They're in Canada. Big star. Got a lot of subscribers. He and his brother watched their videos. They had great video uh, the other day. You know, Marky Mark, his brother, was upset. He was knocking the box down. It was funny. And we got Freedom Sufferer cards all the way out there in the Netherlands. We're going to talk about fantastic videos. That's him. We got down in Georgia, Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles. Mr. Zach in. Have you seen my baseball? I haven't seen a video from them in a long time, but hopefully they're doing all right. Then we got Shaw Racing Collects. Another the great channel. They're in Canada. And those are the names. That's it. Yeah. When you win, you get taken out. Just want to point that out. And also, I've been getting emails from people saying, how do I get in? How do I get in? This started last June, so hopefully I'll have it done by this June because that was celebrating my one-year anniversary. So everybody had already been entered. Um, I will have other giveaways, and I will announce them, and you can enter them. So Some people have been sending real angry emails about, yeah, this, this, I should be in it. I, you know, sorry. Uh, I don't force anybody to uh, watch the videos and... You know, it's a free giveaway, so I'm not cheating anybody here. I just want to try to be fair. Shake it up. All right. My hand goes in. Who do we got, Squatch? We got JK, JK, Johnny. All right, Johnny. You're the guy. So, he's the winner of the box. Next time, we'll be giving away uh, the 1986. Oh, you can't see that really well. 1986 Tops cards. I believe it's a whole set, so hopefully the whole set's there. It's been so long since I looked in it. But All right, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and, you know, hit the bell. Don't hit it too hard, though. And you get, uh, you know, the, the updates of when I come out with a video, which hopefully should be, you know, more frequent. Uh, I do subscribe folks back, so you're under no obligation to uh, subscribe, <laughs> but it is nice. Appreciate it. It don't cost nothing. Check out those other channels as well. Subscribe to them. Don't cost nothing. You'll make them very happy. And you know, see someone in the comments section. You know, check them out. Leave them a subscription. Uh, you're certainly welcome to leave comments. I do try to get back to everybody. I hope everyone's having a great spring. Hope you all had a great Easter if you celebrated it. Be safe out there, one person at a time, and the world will get better. It's going to be a better place. Tonight, we say goodnight to American Samoa. You guys are up. I know you're up watching, so you can leave some comments if you'd like. Take care. I love everybody.